what you want to Please don't be polite Cause I like your attitude Let's forget about our curfew Cause all that is stuck in my head Is me and you Both speed and my heart is racing But I'm not sure I wanna pace it Cause it only does this with you Morning So uh Yeah it is morning Even though it's still pitch black it's nearly nine o'clock in the morning doesn't get light here until I've gone 10 this time of year um, anyway we're going to uh, try and find the car and then go to um, the south of the island down towards Bick hopefully see some waterfalls um, got the black beach we're going to see if we can find that and uh, show you some guys some of the sights. So uh, let's see if we can find the car. So let's go. So uh, we've arrived at the first waterfall, um, Celan de la Frost waterfall, I think that's how you pronounce it, forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, road conditions weren't too bad, but the car, the car helps us quite a lot. It is an all wheel drive vehicle, so studded tyres and everything, so it's, um, it got us here in one piece. Uh, so we're going to have a wander up to the waterfall and have a look and uh, see what it's like so stay with us So this is where we are right now and we're going to work our way down here we've got Skogafoss some waterfalls here glacier, there's another glacier up here and then we're going to work our way down to uh, down to Vic and the Black Beach which is just in there and we'll finish the day there so that's where we're going. Let's go.
absolutely spectacular waterfall. You can normally walk behind it, but uh, it's a bit icy. Uh, a bit difficult to get behind there, so we won't be doing that right now. Really nice. Apparently so a hidden waterfall may be around here somewhere, so we're going to go and find, find that as well. Um, but just take a look at this. we're going to have to get ourselves some stickers what do you think so we just arrived at uh, a smaller um, smaller waterfall called uh, Erafos I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll put all the, the names of them down below um, in the video anyway, so you can look them up. Um, make sure I'm pronouncing them properly because I haven't got a clue how to pronounce them. Anyway, it's, uh, as I said, it's much smaller than the uh, the last one. But uh, I'll take a look anyway. So that was uh, Erafos waterfall. Um, as I said, not as big as the uh, the last one, but uh, quite impressive. So on to the next destination, which I think is uh, what is it, another waterfall or a glacier? We don't know. Though. I think it's a glacier. Another glacier. So we're going to go and have a look at a glacier now. I think. I think. We'll have a look. Uh, we go back to the car. And uh, yeah, so on to the next one. So uh, we've made it to the next next place. Uh, it wasn't the glacier after all. It is uh, Skogafoss, uh, Sk waterfall at Skogafoss. Uh, really big one, this one. And uh, we can actually walk up above it as well, which is really nice. So we'll be doing that. So uh, let's check this place out. What we need drone. Have to get one of those. Next on the list. Anyway, let's have a look at this waterfall. So this is it. This is uh, Skogafoss. Quite noisy. 
quite muddy as well. It's quite nice. It's quite big, quite noisy. And we're going to go up the top here is a viewing platform. I don't know if you can make it out. That's where we're going in a minute. Up the steps. And we're going to have a look from above. But it's absolutely stunning. Let's take a look. It's a long way up. Well, that was a long way up. Let's just take a look at that. That's where we've just come from. So let's take a look at the top of this waterfall. It's tiring. I'll do a holiday one day where I don't have to do so many hills, so much climbing. There we go. There's the top. Let me take a closer look. All that's left for us to do, to, all that is left for us to do now, can't talk, is uh, make our way back down and then it's the glacier. Which is something I'm looking forward to seeing. So, we'll see you guys back at the car. Stunning. That's it, so we've, uh, we've arrived, it's only about 20 minutes down the road from the uh, waterfall. We've arrived at the glacier, the uh, Solhomajakol Glacier. I'm going to let you guys look that one up because I think I've just completely obliterated that pronunciation. So uh, we've got a little hike and uh, it's our first glacier, which is exciting, but never seen one before. So, let's uh, see if we can find it. Shouldn't be too hard to find, surely. Really cold and really windy up here. I can really feel it up here now. Gonna try try to get to Vic and the Black Beach before sunset. And as you can probably see behind us, it's a clear sky. So if we're lucky, we may see some northern lights tonight. Although the northern light forecast isn't good. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and uh, hopefully we'll see something. So We'll get up here and then uh, get back to the car and have a race to Vic. So, as 
you can see, that's glacier behind us, or glacier, depending where you're from. And years ago, we would have been all the way down, all the way down here. It's just receded over, over time, over the last few hundred years. It's receding faster and faster. So it's global warming, if you believe in that sort of thing. I'll let you make your own minds up. It's, uh, it's definitely a thing, but whether it's caused by us or the natural cycle of the earth, I don't know. There's evidence to support either way, but either way, should be looking after the planet. Anyway, that's enough politics. You see how blue the icebergs are in the, the lake. So the, uh, the Glacier's Lagoon, which is where all the icebergs are, that started to form in uh, 2011. And uh, apparently it's about 60 metres deep. It's getting bigger and deeper every year. Anyway, now we've got to make our way back to the car. And uh, we're going to try and get down to Vic before sunset so we can see the sunset on the Black Beach. So we better get going because it's, uh, it's getting close to that time already. So we'll see you there. Guys, that's, uh, that's it from us today. We've made it to the Black Beach. We've uh, got some lovely rock formations, beautiful black fine sand, lovely sunset. It's behind the clouds, but what can you do? You can't predict the weather. You can't, uh, it's one thing we can't control. However, if you can see behind me, it is absolutely clear. There's always a chance we could see. 
Run! Run. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I tripped over a rock! <laughs> oh, brilliant! Okay. As we laughing at Kelly, nearly got me as well. So. <laughs> It's definitely coming in. Anyway, that's enough from us. I'm gonna grab a drink, and uh, if we do see the northern lights, we'll show you that. If we don't, we'll see you guys in the next one.